Hi, it's Susan from Susan B. Cards. Today I'm making a card using Alta News Rhododendron Layering Die Set. I get a lot of questions about how I make my background, so today I'm going to show you how I made this watercolor background. I'm using distressed watercolor paper that I cut down to A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and I'm painting on the smooth side of the paper. I'm using a one inch flat paintbrush, and I think I got this one from Hobby Lobby. I put water on the paper and then some of the watercolor paint. This set is from Altenew. It's the Artist Watercolors. It's a set of 24 paints. And I'm using purple and the five shades of blue that are in the set. I'm alternating between water, paint, and drying. As you can see, it's just puddles of paint that I put on and then I blend it out with some water. I'm using the heat tool to dry the front and the back of the paper. And I'm not going to show all the drying because it's all the same. But I am showing all the painting. It's just a sped up version. I like using a big paintbrush because you can add a lot of water and paint quickly. And you can see how the flat paintbrush helps blend out the edges a bit. And drying in between will set these layers. You can see how they're starting to build upon each other. There's some darker areas, some lighter areas. You could also use a um, paper towel to pull up some of the paint if you want more white area. And of course you can stop at any point you're satisfied with the results. I just like lots of layers. So now I'm using a smaller paintbrush. This one I think is by Ranger. Um, and I'm just adding some detail areas here, but still blending it out a bit. So now I'm turning the paper and then holding it up just so the paint moves in a few more areas and I continue to get that uneven application. So now I'm using the large paintbrush just to pick up some of that paint that's on the glass mat and I'm trying to soften some of those harsh edges and add more layers. I wasn't really happy with that large purple section, so I'm using some of the blue to kind of blend it out and cover it up a bit.
I'm almost done, and so I'm adding the last few details by using up the paint that's left over on the glass mat. I decided to add some spatters to the background, so I'm picking up the darkest blue, watering it down a bit, and then just flicking it onto the card front. I think it adds a nice texture and dimension. So that's it. It took me about 20 minutes to make this background, but I think it looks pretty good. I used more of the um, distressed watercolor paper to cut the pieces of the rhododendron layering die set. And I decided to paint the pieces rather than using colored cardstock or marker because I wanted it to match the background and have that uneven painted look. For the flowers, I just quickly added shades of pink and red onto the petals. So I'm not gonna really show all that because there was really no technique. I just was really coloring it in un unevenly, just the same way I did the background. So I finished painting um, the flowers and now I'm just placing them onto my card. I, I meant to turn the camera on for more of this, but I forgot and uh, got a little distracted. So I have just glued on the three leaves and the flower that's in the back. This one's gonna lie on top like this. So I cut a small piece of fun foam and just gonna trim it a little bit so that it so that you can't see it and then pop it up just right here. I glued the flower down and then I took some watered down white acrylic paint and spattered it over the top of the card. The thanks sentiment is cut three times and glued together for added dimension. And now I'm just attaching these embellishments. There are some old Studio Katya clear drops I had in my stash. I like to use the Artiste glue and I put it in these small bottles from Hobby Lobby. But the glue also comes with a fine tip that works great that you can just attach to the Artiste glue bottle. Most of the products are linked in the description below the video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.